Most of the projects in the real world are large and complex in nature. Complexity is a major challenge, which can also be associated with volatility, ambiguity, and uncertainty. High complexity results in increased risks, costs, dissatisfaction, etc. There are several models to deal with complexity. Stacy's Matrix, developed by Ralph Stacy, looks at two dimensions to identify, understand, and manage situations of a project. This degree of complexity influences tailoring methods and practices for the project. One important aspect of project planning is to choose the development approach and Stacy's Matrix can help to solve the problem. Let us study the Stacy's Matrix to choose the best suitable development approach. Consider x-axis for technical know-how as ambiguity and y-axis for clarity of requirements as uncertainty. Looking at the degree of complexity, a project can be classified as simple, complicated, complex or chaotic. Now, one might be wondering, how does this help manage project complexity? The answer lies in tailoring. By identifying where our project falls on Stacy's matrix, we can tailor our methods and practices accordingly. A simple project is one where there's low ambiguity and low uncertainty. Think of it as a very familiar one, where everyone knows their role on what is to be done and how it can be done, the outcome is almost guaranteed. For example, time and cost estimation of painting a 1,000 square feet of wall may be available from a previous project information or a technical journal. The task of completing this type of work is very much predictable and achievable easily. A traditional or predictive approach is recommended or best suitable for this type of project. On the flip side, we have chaotic projects. These are marked by high ambiguity and high uncertainty, associated with high risk of failures. There are certain projects where the requirements and technology know-how are both unclear. Some may choose not to start this project. Some may be willing to accept a higher risk, depending on their risk appetite and risk thresholds. Complicated projects have either high ambiguity or high uncertainty with low levels of ambiguity or uncertainty. This is relatively less risky. As the degree of complexity increases, these projects are called as complex projects. The level of project risk also increases. Complex project, for example, a project to launch a spaceship for the first time on the surface of the moon where the requirements are unambiguous and technology is unclear. For complicated and complex projects, usually Agile approach is recommended. We have seen Stacy Matrix in the context of development approach on the basis of what and how. When the project requirements are clear and technology is known complexity is simple and traditional approach can be followed. If the requirements and technology are both unknown this becomes chaotic and usually such projects are either avoided or converted to become complicated or complex. If the projects fall in the category of either complicated or complex agile methodologies, with or without tailoring can applied. Stacy's matrix can also be applied to leadership approach as well. There is another model of complexity, which is similar to the Stacy's matrix, called as Cunovan framework. Let us try to understand the Cunovan framework, crafted by Dave Snowden. It is a conceptual framework for decision making, which is explained with five domains contexts, namely, clear, complicated, complex, chaotic, and confusing. Any problem or situation can be fit into these five domains and can be analyzed. Decision-making becomes easy. The clear domain represents the known knowns. It means the situation is predictable, the cause and effect relation is clear. Best practices, standard operating procedures, can be used for decision-making, which is simple and straightforward. This can be treated as zero-risk zone. The framework recommends sense categorize respond. The complicated domain represents known unknowns. The relationship between cause and effect requires expertise or analysis. For a particular problem, there is a range of right answers. The framework recommends sense analyze respond to chose the best for the situation. Levels of risk is low moderate. The complex domain represents unknown unknowns. There are no right answers, cause and effect can be deduced only in retrospection. The framework recommends probe sense respond. The level of risk becomes higher and chances of failure increases. 
examples, battlefield, stock markets, etc. A smart leader knows how to be a game changer as there is an opportunity associated with every risk. Chaotic domain, this is catastrophic. Cause and effect are unclear. Framework recommends act since respond. There is no time to think as the event had already occurred, only option is to face the situation. Look for stability and try to move to a complex domain lessons learned will help for future situations and communication becomes the key. When there is no clarity on where the problem fits, called as confusion domain, there is a disorder and requires a split or decomposition of the issue to move forward. As the knowledge increases the domain shifts clockwise and this shift moves anti-clockwise in case of complacency. So a leader has to be alert and balance the wheel trying to handle all the domains as the situation arises and ensure the drift is always clockwise. We have come to an end of this video, where, we have learned Stacy's matrix and Cunovan framework to manage complex problems and situations for effective decision making and planning. Thank you for watching the video, please share your feedback in the comments section. If you liked the video and would like to see more on the concepts of project management, request you to please like and subscribe. We'll be back with much more interesting and improvised content soon.